Dr. Rivera, we have a list of some causes of nasal congestion. So take us through this list explaining each condition. So allergies are quite common. That's just an inflammation in response to something. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be anything, animals. A lot of people are allergic to their own pets, dust, dander. Um, and that's the body's response to an irritant that can lead to inflammation, production of mucus, sneezing, and definitely block up the nose. We mm -hmm. see a ton of people with allergies, and you can also develop them at any point in your life. Um, so very often we see people who have symptoms, they say, hey, I don't have allergies, but they have just recently developed them. Okay. Sinusitis is an actual infection involving the sinuses, which are air-filled spaces in the nose. Mm -hmm. uh, that can actually be very debilitating because it's associated with a lot of pain, congestion, and thick drainage, and can be very debilitating. How is that different from a sinus infection? Uh, the, uh, that is a sinus infection. Okay. Sinus infections are different from allergies. Allergies are an inflammation in response to an irritant. Mm -hmm. An infection is when you actually have bacteria in your nose causing the production of mucus and really swelling things up, and it's usually much more painful. Okay. Um, decongestant nasal spray overuse is actually a common thing we see. If you're not careful about which over-the-counter medication you use, you can actually end up doing much more damage than good and end up worse off than where you were at when you started. Okay. Now, common colds, I feel that we're in the throes of that right now, so that's something that it can cause nas nasal congestion. Absolutely, it's probably the, the number the, one. Yeah, the reason they call it common is because it is common. Usually a common cold is a viral infection that's self-limited. It only lasts for a number of days. Mm -hmm. The people that we see are ones who they get a common cold and it subsequently obstructs their sinuses and causes an infection, okay. which is quite common and usually people are predisposed to that because of their anatomy. And move, moving on to deviated septum. So let's discuss that one. Yeah, the septum is a, a partition in the nose that separates each side. Uh, everyone's septum has a, a little bit of a bend to it typically, but some it's more bent than others. And if it has narrowed the nasal passage and then you have an infection, that side can completely obstruct. So those people are much more prone to coming to you complaining of a stuffy nose.